one of the ancient elements. Peter, thank you, Rick. You guys want to prepare for a staff fight? We also have uh, differences of, of, of pursuit in kicking. Modern kicks are stemming now from the knee joint. I suggest that this does not, or the Chinese suggest, that this does not allow for power. When the kick comes from across the hip, there's power. That means that it's a relaxed hip, a relaxed leg. Now what you saw with Peter was a left leg kicking combination. Followed by right leg. And one more. The Chinese in dynamic kicking believe that a kick from the hip should not be induced unless it's from a spin. Because that allows the hip to be relaxed and gives you power. But a key ingredient that we miss is that the body must be over the supporting leg. If the body is off the supporting leg, we have what's called a Y axis. And this Y axis, once you strike your opponent, will cause you to fall. Whereas if you're in an F axis, like the letter F, when I strike my opponent, I can recoil. And again, like we've described, the arcing hip. Staff fight. Martial arts. China. The long form, old frame, all spiral. This means that the weapon, I am simply, I submit to the will of this weapon. All its movements are spherical. Strike, strike, strike. Borrow the power from the feet. As he stabs again, I stab again, Michael, if you like. Three sectionals to kill. Peter, go to your last move. From here, this is an illusion of the Quan Dao. As Peter strikes, I give him the illusion that I'm striking to spin and to cut. And obviously, Michael comes in at the end. 
And this blade being as long as it is, surpasses that. Thank you. We'll, what I'm going to do now for you is just moments of the Chen style, the Cannon Fist, and the Yang style. Brief moments.